Summit Series is a community of young entrepreneurs that operates under this premise. What's good for business is what's good for the world. And Thayer Walker is the chief reconnaissance officer. That is, when he's not wrestling jaguars or stranding himself on a desert island. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> thanks for being here with us today. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about what exactly Summit Series is. So um, Summit Series is a, a community of um, entrepreneurs, artists, um, uh, activists, uh, and scholars um, that um, you know, promote and practice the philosophy that what is good for business should be good for the world. Um, now, we bring all these people together um, in uh, a, a, an annual event. Um, called Summit Series. Um, so it's three days, uh, and it's, it's uh, a really incredible mix. It's sort of this, this uh, giant cultural mashup. Um, so you have, um, you know, you can imagine sort of a, a business conference with, you know, really incredible intellectual, you know, discourse and, and content um, mixed with, um, you know, kind of a Burning Man vibe and, and, and the X Games. Right. Well, Julie and I were both fortunate enough to attend a Summit Series, and yeah, you describe it perfectly. But what happens after the Summit Series? You know, I had a great experience there, but you know, are there measurable outcomes? Are people keeping chatting online? Are there problems you're trying to solve? Yeah, sure. So um, the events themselves are, are three and a half days, um, but the impacts um, you know, resonate um, throughout the year. So um, you know, a lot of people are, are coming there um, you know, to do business or, or meet people that can um, you know, help them build or create projects. So, you know, buying companies, selling companies, mm -hmm. launching programs, um, raising money for nonprofits. There's a huge, uh, you know, a huge philanthropic side to it. Um, over the last, uh, you know, basically since our inception, we've raised, um, uh, you know, about two million dollars for the nonprofits that we love and support. Um, and we actually had a really interesting thing come out of uh, come out of the last event um, summit at Sea. Um, one of our, you know, attendees is a uh, is, is is a fellow named uh, Christopher Lofgren. Who runs a, um, a a company called a restaurant called Bamboo Sushi? Uh, it's the company's or it's the country's first uh, sustainable sushi restaurant. Really? Yeah. And and what's interesting about it is that he had this um, restaurant for uh, two years before it was a sustainable restaurant, and then he um, actually uh, you know looked at his business model and, and started kind of putting some pieces together and thought about okay, well, what if I actually change it a little bit? And now he's you know four times as profitable um, being a sustainable sushi restaurant <laughs> and yeah, practicing um, you know uh, you know much healthier environmental practices than than any sort of conventional um, sushi restaurant. So it's a really it's a really incredible example of of how you can actually use business to have a you know a positive impact uh, in the world. And after the last event, which was Summit at Sea, um, you know, we, we had a lot of you know, incredible scientists and conservationists and explorers. And um, you know, a, a couple of months after the event, Christopher came to us and uh, 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 asked us, um, would you like to create a marine protected area? Um, and yeah, and, and for those, if, if you don't know, so basically a marine protected area yeah. is a national park in the ocean. Um, and as it turns out, um, one of the organizations that was there at the event uh, it was the Nature Conservancy. Mm -hmm. Their lead scientist, M. Sanjin, um, actually gave a, a keynote, um, which was incredible. And you know, Christopher and, and Sanjin had begun to talk. And as it turns out, in the, um, in the island chain where we dropped anchor, um, there's actually a marine protected area that needs our help. It's only about 20 miles away. Um, and so it was created by the government 10 years ago. But as in so many developing countries, there's a huge disconnect between um, you know, uh, you know, formal legislation and on the ground reality. Um, so this is a, it's a big, you know, it's a, it's a big area. Uh, it's 70 square miles, you know, three times the size of Manhattan. <laughs> and um, it, it was supposed to be the country's first no-take fishing zone. Right. Um, but um, you know, there hasn't been any funding or resources to get the park online. So no infrastructure, no enforcement, not even a management plan. Hmm. Um, and so it's kind of been sitting there for 10 years, unregulated, unwatched. Um, and, uh, you know, Christopher heard about this and, and came to us and said, well, it's, it's going to cost $500,000 to put the park online. Here's a quarter million. Um, can you guys help us raise the rest? <laughs> and, you know, that was, uh, you know, we jumped at it. It was an incredible yeah. opportunity, you know, to make an impact because the events themselves, you know, are only three and a half days, but this is something, um, you know, where we can leave a legacy that'll, that'll last a, a, a really long time. Yeah. And the events themselves, is the community just talking within themselves or are they actually spreading the word yeah. to the world? So the people that are coming were, were um, 
you know, our, our attendees are, are, you know, CEOs or, or founders of their nonprofits, entrepreneurs, um, executive, you know, executive directors of, of their nonprofits, or you know, thought leaders in some other ways, artists, musicians, scientists. Um, you know, the events are, are relatively small, 600 to you know, 1,000 people, um, but. But these individuals are, are running their organizations, so each person there represents 10 people, 100 mm. people, 1,000 people. So you know, the message and the ethos that, you know, that we're you know, trying to, to promote um, actually gets disseminated you know, to, 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 to their organizations and, and out into the world. And yeah, I mean, what I like best about Summit Series is exactly what you said. You know, a lot of these conferences you go to, you know, people get there and they chat, and then like, nothing happens. But right. after Summit Series, things get done. You know, and I, that's, you know, one of the best things about it. Thanks. Yeah. That's yeah. why he goes. That's why I go. <laughs> but, you know, and it's, uh, I mean, the, your tagline, you know, doing what's good for business is good for the world, you know, c completely agree with that as well. Thanks. You guys Thanks. are doing good stuff. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so back it. to the whole Jaguar yes. mm. and the Stranded Islands. Yeah. Started it outside as, a, as an editor and I actually still am a correspondent there. And, um, so, uh, you know, my editors there, they kept sending me on these assignments, um, and I couldn't tell if it was because, you know, they thought that I was the right man for the job or because they were hoping that, you know, maybe this is the one that would finally, uh, <laughs> yeah, it finally wouldn't come back. Uh, you know, I could never really tell, but, you know, I guess my, my first big assignment was um, uh, M Mary Turner uh, sent me off to a desert island in Panama. Uh, and I, I stranded myself there for, for 20 days. I had, you know, a little more than a knife and a, a dive mask. Uh, and the Man. clothes on my back, and I lost 14 pounds and about 95 percent of my sanity. <laughs> uh, wow! Yeah, so that was pretty wild. That was one of those things that I um, I was really glad that I did, um, but I hope I never have to do again. Right. How did you survive? Um, well, <laughs> it was it was neither pretty nor graceful. Um, you know, I'm just kind of, you know. Uh, I'm not a survival expert. You know, the, the, it was sort of an experiment, right? It's take a, you know, take sort of your your average city slicker and you know, throw them on an island, and see what happens. So I ended up eating termites and coconuts and slime, oh. these slime nuggets. Um, wow. Yeah. Does that they, sound familiar? Ethan? Yeah. You know, yeah. Ethan was on survival. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. Yeah. There you go. You know, yeah. We can. Uh, we should do it together next time. Well, Maybe a lot more fun. So I, that's the thing. I, I, you know, I, I can't. I sort of wrestle with my mind. You know, being being alone is is really challenging in that situation, but. In your situation, being surrounded by adversaries, right. like I don't know which is worse, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, well, probably uh, my situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe for Summit myself. Series, maybe the new thing should be: is can you last on a deserted island together? Yeah. Together? So, wow, that's a good right. one. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I like it. Well, I like thanks it. so much for coming in to chat with us today. Yeah, appreciate yeah, no that. Problem.